Not even George Costanza can save the New York Yankees at this point. At least we don't think so. The 2024 World Series all over, but the shouting seemingly. However, Mark Zeno and I will go head-to-head -head in just a moment on Game 4 of the series. I have a feeling he's going to be right. I'm going to be wrong. As I, spent the, as I spent the 10 minutes before the show telling him, oh, my God, I have made a terrible error no, on this even, worldwide television program. Every morning, we peel back the curtain. Every morning, you and I talk for about 20 minutes before we start the show and kind of go over exactly what we're going to talk about, kind of look at our plays and what we like and everything else and sort of hash it out, bounce things off each other, you know, just get good handicapping information from one another. And we come up with a consensus of, okay, hey, I like your half of the double play. You like my half of the double play, you know, and then we come up with a best bet. You sat there this morning and kept telling me about your half of the double play. And I kept telling you, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're wrong. It's not. You're, I wouldn't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And all of a sudden, what did you decide to do? You decided to pick the Dodgers. So why don't we just give your half of the double play first since we know you're going to be wrong and I'm going to be right. Uh, I would like to clarify one thing. I'm taking the Yankees tonight in this game. You said That's the Dodgers. I mean. uh, you, That's what I mean. Yes, I'm taking he, the Dodgers. Yes, because you're smart and I am not. Well, look, uh, I am a contrarian by nature, Mark Zeno. You know that, okay? Uh, and often, no matter how ugly a situation, how ugly a team, I can often come up with a kernel of info, a nugget, a, a glimmer of hope to hang on to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you here, buddy. Uh, I'm struggling to find uh, some stuff to uh, back the New York Yankees. Look, I think it's a talented team. I know you don't think they're managed well. I'm not going to dispute the fact that they're not managed well. I think Aaron Boone stinks. You were right all along. Dude, he pinch hit a guy last night that was batting 098. 098. I, he went down a bench. That's he not goes, good. Let me see what we got here. We need a pinch hitter. You. What are you? Oh, 98? Okay, good. Yeah, your turn. You go. You go. It's your turn. Uh -huh. You want to know what else was great about last night? You want to know what else was great about last night? You know what else was my favorite part of last night? Is that Aaron Boone, in all of his, can I say a bad word? Can you bleep out words? Can you bleep out words? I don't know. I don't know. In, I, I, in I, all that's of not my his <laughs> intimate wisdom, okay, if you could read my lips, in all of that, you know what he did last night? He brought in Tim Hill to face Shohei Otani, then walk Mookie Betts, and then face Freddie Freeman. And he got out Otani, and he walked Mookie Betts, and he got out Freeman. The same mother bleeping situation that that a-hole screwed up in game one. Nestor Cortez. My God. Uh, you seem very passionate on this subject. Uh, I don't blame Go you ahead. as a, as a New York Yankees. Yankees. Moron. I'm going to pick the I'm going to pick the Yankees in game four. Why? YOLO. Okay, look. They're fat. This is a t they're, they're 20 and 10 and Luis Heels 30 starts this season. Can I interest you in that? Can I interest you in the fact that the Dodgers are going with a bullpen game today? Okay, it's the fourth time they've done so this postseason. But they used six relievers last night. Three of them threw 22 pitches. Do they have enough arms to get through nine innings? Could this be a forfeit situation, perhaps? I know it's game four of the World Series, so that's probably not going to happen. But... I don't, know, I don't think that, I mean, you're getting you're making this all the time. Can, 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 can the Yankees possibly be worse with runners in scoring position than they have been in this series? They've been four. They're four of twenty. They're yeah, hitting yeah, one eighty six yes, in the series. You want to know why? Because they were they were why? like they were like two for eighteen against the Royals, and they were like three for twenty against the Guardians. If I was Aaron Boone, you know what I would be doing uh, before. Oh, hold on. Before before game four tonight, I would gather the team in the clubhouse and I would show them a video of the Boston Red Sox. Come You're back such an ass. You're <laughs> such, I told him that. I go, Aaron Boone's such a tool. He would probably make the Yankees watch the Red Sox Netflix documentary about how to come back from 03. He's such an I ass. I think that's what they should do. Yankees, my half of the double play. I think they're going to avoid the sweep. Nobody thinks they're going to avoid the sweep. So if somebody's got to take them, I will. Okay. Tell me why uh, I'm wrong. Uh, uh, no, I, I just gave you a hundred reasons why you're wrong. They can't hit runners in a scoring position. Their manager's a jack wagon. Okay, they only have to get two guys out named Judge and I mean uh, Stanton and Soto. Judge can't hit water if he fell out of a boat. The three hundred fifty million dollars is a waste of damn money at this point in time. And guess what? <laughs> what? I'm guessing they stink. So anyway. Um, my half of the double play will be the Dodgers' first five money line because the Dodgers are plus money on the first five money line at plus 120. I don't care that it's a bullpen game. I don't care 
that we don't know who's going in and in. And guess what? If you're going to give me the Dodgers on the first five, because here's the thing, folks. If the Yankees don't have a lead by five innings, they are dead. 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 Remember like Robert De Niro when he was talking to uh, uh, Sharon Stone's, um, you know, like like pimp guy, you know, in the, uh, uh, oh, no, when he was talking to Sharon Stone after she, after she tied the kid up, you know, and he's like, he says, dead. Dead. That's, that's what the Yankees are. Dead. Just like that. Just get in there with the lips. Dead. So anyway, um, yeah, Dodgers first five money line. Keep the tie in your back pocket on the off chance the Yankees actually score a run. Guess what? The Dodgers score as many. Because, you know, Luis Hill gave up three runs in five innings the last time he faced the Dodgers. So, you know, figured the Dodgers are good for three early on. Hi, Brian Power. Why don't you bet the over again? Dumbass. I like saying Luis Hill's name. It's fun. I like Lucas Gill better. Which is what I called him no, for the first two months a, of the season. It's not his name. No, I know. It's not his it's name. Not. Heel. Heel. It's funny to say. Might be the last time we're saying it all year. You know, it's funny. I went to a VA appointment yesterday, and they took my blood pressure. Like, <laughs> oh, dear hey. God. They're like, hey, you know, you got your blood pressure's good. And I should probably try to tell them I, that I know less than about, you know, 18 hours later that Brian Power would have my blood pressure through the roof. Every time I go to the doctor, they're like, despite everything you've just told us over the last 15 minutes, sir, you you have a clean bill of health. It's yeah, amazing. It's, it's amazing how you, you, you actually have no muscle on you at all whatsoever. You eat and drink like crap, and yet somehow that's a clean bill of health. Good job for you. Way to go, for you, baby. Yes, there, that, that's what they say. All right. That might be it. That might be it for baseball this year. We'll see. One of us will be right. Well, I guess but both, both of us could be wrong. Hopefully, no, like, hopefully, hopefully the Yankees aren't ahead after five and then blow it late. That's all we, we can't hope that that can't happen. That can't happen. That's what we don't want. That here on the you, you just the fact that you just yeah. brought that into the lexicon of the unit. Just get out. Just go take a break. Just get off the show for like three minutes. Go take a lap and come back. Yeah, seriously. I'll do it from here. Okay, let's move on to our show best bet. Okay, our show best bet for today. We're actually going to go to the NBA, guys. Boy, this show is so much better with me alone. I just got to say that. I'm really enjoying this. Um, all right. For our show best bet. No, you're back. <laughs> Damn it. You can, you're right. doing a wonderful job. We're going to go to the NBA tonight. Uh, only four games on the schedule. Um, and, you know, look, uh, BP and I yet haven't made an official. I think we did once on the opening night. We took the Timberwolves and lost. Um, yeah. but like we haven't made client plays yet on the NBA. I think we're going through a process right now. We're just kind of feeling things out. What we have done is kind of talked about the card each night and say, here's what I would play. Here's what I would play. Here's what I would play and find out where we're right and where we're wrong. So, uh, we're going to give you guys an NBA play tonight. We're going to look at the Denver Nuggets and the Brooklyn Nets. Now Denver played last night in Toronto. Uh, they won in overtime, 127 to 125, where it was tied at 114 at the end. Nikola Jokic had 40. Denver's on a back-to-back -back tonight. Now, typically, we don't like to play on teams in a back-to-back, -back, but two things happen. One, we get a depressed number because if you take this game and just put it as a standalone game in the middle of January, Denver, even on the road, is probably a seven- or eight-point favorite. We get a short number at five, five-and-a-half tonight uh, for the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are a team last year that went nine and four on the second night of back-to-backs straight up. And, oh, by the way, Last year, they also won their first four back-to-backs, the second half of the back-to-backs. They went 4-0 straight up. Now, they got to cover five-and-a-half number here. Brooklyn will not have Bogdan Bogdanovich. Uh, as far as we know, the Denver injury report at this point in time says everybody's clean. Remember, wait till we get closer to tip-off because we got to see if they decide to rest anybody last minute. We know how that goes. But it's earlier in the season. Guys have fresher legs. Coaches are more inclined to push guys a little bit now than do the load management thing. So. Uh, this is a short number here for Denver. I think they come back tonight, punish the Brooklyn Nets, who aren't very good on the defensive end, uh, and and Brooklyn will play fast. And if they're going to do that, that's going to favor Denver because they have better shooters and better scorers. Brian Power, would you like to add anything to anything that I just said? Unlike World Series Game 4, Mark Zeno and I are in agreement on this one. Yeah. Denver Nets, why it's our show best bet. Lay it with the Denver Nuggets. They beat but Brooklyn's a bad basketball team. Yeah. Bad basketball yeah. team. Bad, bad times in New York, man. All five boroughs are struggling. I mean, New Jersey and East Rutherford, they're struggling right now, the only, too. The, the only saving grace we have is the Knicks, and that usually leads us to massive disappointment regardless. I'm not a Rangers fan, but they're the next best team in New York. So, um, How are the Islanders doing this year? I don't follow hockey. Can't ice skate, I bet, by the way. I, 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 actually, I actually hit up Andrew McInnes, who is our resident hockey Canadian, eh? Oh. On the Wager Talk staff. <laughs> you know? 
You know what? You, you know what? Andrew McInnes is about. He's about hooky. Okay, he's about hooky. All right. We put the puck yes. in the net, Jerry. Um, yes. So yes, we do. I, I actually talked to him before the season. I fired on the Islanders over eight and nine and a half points for the season. A little future action on the New York Islanders. And Andrew McInnes gave me the good old thumbs up. That and he gave me an a Labatt's blue. Here we go. Remember the good old Molson Ice? Remember Molson Ice back in the day as a beer? Yeah, that, that, that used to be like the one beer that would get you sloshed. Now there's like, a lot. Now, now, like, yeah, that, that was a hate. Oh that was, yeah, yeah. You did. They used to not make them high ABV like that. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I, I remember. I got a. Oh. Like, I think I got a. You used to be able to get a forty ounce of Molson Ice at OU oh, for a God. very cheap price. I that, that was a good. That was I mean, a good two time. things were sure. Two things were certain to happen after you drank a lot of Molson Ice. You'd be blacked out, and you'd be shitting your brains out the next day. Like that. Oh, those are so. two things that were you know pretty much you know guaranteed to happen. It's certainly a bit of information that I don't know if the morning wager audience knew it was going to learn today if they already well, didn't know, did. but there they go. Anybody who's of our know. ilk, of, of our age that drank a Molson Ice knows exactly what we're talking about. I knew what you were going to say. All right. If you have not already anyway. liked this show, why? Yeah. what is your problem? Why have you not smashed the thumbs up button after the entertainment we have brought you here on a Tuesday? And if Mark, it is... <laughs> I will drive to your house and slit your throat, like I told okay, you. No, okay, you, 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 that, that was uh, completely uncalled for. Okay, that the was completely the uncalled comment, for. The guy in the comment section is like, "Oh my god, I've been to UFC, yes. for, you know, weigh-ins and pressers. I've never heard anything like that." I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, Brian Power." Just- yeah, you should hear what he says to me off air when I tell him I'm going to bet the Yankees tonight. All right, it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, Mark Zeno, as you know. And that means $5 best bets from all of your favorite Wager Talk handicappers, including Mark and I. Mark, I know you're already locked and loaded. My play will be available later this morning. Saturday hey, stunk. We ran, I, hold on. I ranted about my bad Saturday yesterday on the show. I am still mm-hmm. number one in college football this season. That's how well I was doing before Saturday. So $5 play. You can get it from me, wt.buzz slash bp. Mark Zitto is just apoplectic right now at how I did that. I mean, again, I was kind enough to not interrupt you, and I should have interrupted you uh, for the Wager Talk audience. But nonetheless, uh, let's see. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I mean, all I'll tell you is I've gotten my $5 play right four weeks in a row, including a 5%. So that's worth to take a look at. It's worth a gander. My record is 11 and 4 over the last month in college football. That's not good enough to be number one, but sure. Here's my record, everybody. 13 and 5 last 18, 42 oh, and 21 last 63. Oh my God. Uh, by the way, I've my power. People would rather me, buy. <laughs> it's taken me weeks, maybe even months, to realize what your nerd voice sounds like, the scientist on The Simpsons. Tell me I'm right yes. in the comments section. It is. But it also Subscribe to like the Wager you. Talk YouTube channel. No, I don't sound like that. Why would you not subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel? I'm going to be on Wager Talk today, later today. Oh, God, God help you. I'd call in sick. Each and every day. I'd call in sick if I was you. You could sleep for the first 30 minutes of that program. Jesus, for the love of Christ.